Welcome to our five on five. We're pleased to be joined by Scott Anderson, the president and CEO of Core Business Services. Scott, good to see you. How are you? Good to see you, Craig. Thank thanks, you. Thanks for coming in. So what exactly do you guys do over there at Core Business Services? So we're an IT services provider. We work with small, medium sized businesses and then businesses that have an IT department and supplement what they do. Okay. And, and one of the things you guys do work with is, is the cloud. What exactly is that? Yeah, cloud's that huge buzz phrase these days <laughs> yeah. that, you know, what exactly is it? Really, the way we describe it is it's servers that aren't at your office. Okay. So it's compute and servers that are off-prem somewhere, which gets into a whole discussion of what's true cloud versus kind of homemade cloud and and some other things. Okay, yeah, this is definitely something we've been hearing about more in the last several years. And I don't know how long it's been around, but so tell us, what are the advantages and disadvantages to working with the cloud? Yeah, some of the advantages are just economy of scale. When you have servers in your office, you have a server, multiple servers, and really what can you afford in terms of uh, battery backup, power protection, internet connectivity. So when you move all of your information to the data center, which is what the cloud is, you pick up all of these redundancies and, and all of a sudden become on a compute scale, big business for just a monthly cost without those capital expenditures. Okay, and it's one of the things that, that I could foresee is, is uh, it's not right here in your building, of course, mm -hmm. and that's an advantage, but it could also, where is it? You don't know how secure it is if it's not in, within your sight lines, I bet. It, it, exactly, and some people have a, a lot of trouble with, hey, my server is not in my closet anymore. Yeah. When at the end of the day, that's typically a much better situation, but it's still that I can't touch and feel my data anymore, which is why we really push towards the cloud being, I still want to know where my data sits, even though it's in the quote unquote cloud. So partnering with a very legitimate data center to deliver the cloud rather than the cloud just being this overarching term. Okay, yeah, and who has control? Is it is it up to individual data centers like you guys? Correct, yeah, it typically is up to a data center. So for our clients, we manage our clients cloud instances in a data center that we have a great relationship with, which brings it a little more home and a little more real where um, it, it's not just a cloud and where does my data sit? Who do I talk to when there's an outage? Those are the kind of things our customers really have concerns over. And so to be able to make that personable, where it's really your servers just sitting in a much better location. Very good. We're going to take a quick break. Not much more with Scott in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. We're here with Scott Anderson, the president and CEO of Core Business Services. We're talking about the cloud that's out there that people can access. How does this technology help the everyday computer consumer? So users typically love the cloud for multiple reasons. One, just being remote connectivity. So, you know, the way I compute is that my desktop follows me. So I'm rarely in the office sitting in front of a computer. So if I'm at a client site, if I'm on the road sitting in my car connected to a hotspot, if I'm working from home, the ability that I can connect to my network wherever I am and not even relying on the power of the internet connectivity in my office. So just the remote access. Mm -hmm. And, and a, a lot of companies are going to more of a hybrid cloud approach where you still have some infrastructure and servers on site and you have some more critical infrastructure in the cloud and kind of a hybrid model where not everything has to be in the cloud. Okay, now is it is it safe nowadays to, to access the cloud? Yeah, we really believe cloud is is much more safe than having information on site. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the actual attack these days for the most part is not that somebody gets hacked into, it's more physical gear taken out of an office or employee theft. So w when you think just at the firewall level, so what's between my stuff and the internet in terms of a firewall, picture a small business having a small business grade firewall sure. where in the cloud or in the data center, you're sitting behind multiple layers of security that none of us could afford nor need to when it's just our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. it, all the way down to key card access, um, authentication. So security is on a much different level in the cloud. Okay, so how does a person access it? So it's typically done through a remote connection. So um, remote desktop or VDI, virtual desktop type instance where when you're actually computing, it looks just like you're sitting in front of your typical computer, but instead you're actually just taking screenshots of that computer that sits somewhere in the cloud and come back, comes back to that direction. So remote desktop, uh, virtual desktop type solution. Interesting. Okay. And, and obviously you guys work with it and, and other businesses do as well. Uh, if people want to find more information, can they find it on your website? Yeah, you bet. You could go to our website at www.helpmecore.com and find more info. Very cool. Scott, great to see you. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Greg. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 